More than 33,000 schools across the USA and Canada competed, but there was just one state winner here in Connecticut. We're talking about the eighth annual Vocabulary Bowl, and here to talk about a big success for a school, we've got students and staff from the Waterbury Arts Magnet School. I'm happy to have with me Liliana Bodner and Adrian Ramos, eighth graders in Mrs. Jessica Lanza's class, and we also have Principal Nick Albini with us this morning. Good morning to all of you. Congratulations to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you very much uh, for being here today. We'll start with you, Mrs. Lanza. Why don't you just tell us about this competition that was done through Vocabulary.com? Absolutely. So our students started um, learning lists, and I decided that this would be a good opportunity to encourage them to use this digital platform that I found, Vocabulary.com. Mm -hmm. They have a vocabulary bowl, um, and in that bowl, uh, they would work on lists and compete with each other, with other schools in our district, in our state, and across the nation. And I'm happy to say yeah. that they won um, state Connecticut champs for the vocabulary bowl 2000. Um, By a won. wide margin, too, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So they mastered. <laughs> 45,616 wow. uh, words uh, throughout the course of the vocabulary bowl. It was an amazing accomplishment and yep. it was all of their hard work and perseverance. Now you had said this started in your classroom but then grew mm -hmm. to other places within uh, Waterbury Arts Magnet School. Uh, Mr. Albini, that's what we'll, we'll bring you in. Please tell us just about the overall effort uh, done by everybody at the school. Yeah, thank you. Uh, this was a great job by Mrs. Lanza and the students. They did a great job of accepting this challenge and next year we're going to bring it into our ninth grade so these students that are in eighth grade this year are going to be able to take advantage of this next year and hopefully really improve their reading skills as we go forward yeah i can imagine so uh, Forty-five thousand words that is a wonderful way to build that vocabulary and communication is everything you know i'm obviously very impartial words matter a lot uh let's start with you adrian what did you do to prepare how do you wind up learning new lists of words without just having to sort of randomly memorize them well, the, the website will give you seven different ways to learn the words. Mm -hmm. It will give you, like, it'll give you a picture. It'll have you spell it out. It will have you find it in a sentence. It'll have you find the opposite of what that word means, and it'll have you guess what that word means. And it will, if you don't master all the words, it'll keep on giving it to you, making it a little bit easier so you could adapt better. Oh, what part of that process did you like the most that you found that helped you? What I found helped me the most was probably spelling out the words, mm -hmm. knowing where all like where everything was and how to better understand the word, how to pronounce it and stuff. That makes a lot of sense. Liliana, what about you? Um, for me, our classroom did SMART goals where as a class we'd work on a list and at the beginning of class a student would pick a number, say we were at 25, and then you go, right. By the, end of, by the end of these seven minutes that we'd have to do daily a vocab, um, let's get to 45. Okay. So as a class, together, we'd all try to accomplish and just the feeling of doing something together and being able to learn new words right. uh, and meet a goal within a, a time period was awesome and it helped a lot. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, it's, it's a lot easier for me to learn something when it's gamified, turned into a game yes. as best I can or a competition. I'm a competitive person. Uh, to what degree did you find that, that helped you? Um, it helped a lot because I'd say teamwork, especially because for some words, I mean, we were learning words to help us for novels we were going to be reading, oh. um, for state testing. These are just words that we were going to see throughout the curriculum. Um, and doing it together as a class definitely mm. benefited it. A uh, question for both of you. Do you have any sort of favorite words you didn't know beforehand that you learned? I know it's OK if you can't think of any off the top of your head. I'm just curious. Anything? Um, I got to say my favorite word that we learned just now recently for the book Bronx Masquerade is masquerade. Masquerade. It's, it's just a very fun word. <laughs> it is, yes. Uh, uh, Mrs. Lanza, you, you just must be so proud of your, your students. I know that's not even really a question, but just tell me one more time. I honestly couldn't be happier and more proud of them, and it's their accomplishment. And and you, they all work so hard, um, and they accomplished so much, and we had, and I couldn't, you know, I really commend them for just all their hard work, because learning 45,616 <laughs> words is an incredible feat. Um, and I'm just so excited, and it's going to help them, yeah. um, you know, with that vocabulary acquisition going forward, just achieving and loving to read and loving words, and it's really the foundation of everything uh, that they're going to continue to learn throughout their, their high school careers. And good for you for memorizing that number. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Juliana, Andrew, and thank you. Congratulations for being the champions. Again, thank you so much for joining us today, thank Mr. Albini. Uh, yeah, it's great to see. It is just 
I have nothing else to add because I don't have the vocabulary for it. It's great to see. Matt, let's send things over to you.